spotted lantern fly is showing just how destructive it can be at a vineyard in Pike Township. The owner says that they hope research is being done can stop the bug and prevent the damage from spreading. WFMZ's Katira Winfrey is live at Beekman Orchards with more on that story tonight. Katira. Wendy, when we first got here, I thought this vine was burned, but nope, this is what a lanternfly can do. Now, a healthy vine at this time of the year would be stretched all across this wire, but instead you see a field of stunted, nearly dead vines. Beekman Orchards has a sprawling vineyard in Pike Township, but nearly half of it isn't viable. There you go. There's one crawling on it right now. In a year's time, spotted lanternfly swarms turned the once healthy green fields of plants black. This image shows a tiny portion of the spotted lanternflies responsible for the damage. This is what every one of these plants should be full of, and they were, they were healthy, vibrant plants. For 25 years, Calvin now, Beekman has been cultivating the vines, and at this rate, he's going to lose them all. I mean, While the future doesn't look promising, he says he hopes uh, Penn here. State experiments can help. For the last two months, Penn State collected spotted lanternfly eggs to test different chemicals to see how they react. Some die, others hatch deformed. We still have a lot of studies to find out, but this is a start. Adult lanternflies are the most destructive. If the lanternflies from the tests survive into adulthood, more data could be collected. And when they move to an adult stage and become mobile and fly, they just keep moving in and moving in. And it, it looks like swarms of locusts. That's how heavy they come in here. And Beekman says he treats his property, but he can't do anything about the surrounding woods. He says if a solution isn't figured out, the lantern flies will just keep coming back. Reporting live in Pike Township, Katira Winfrey, 69 News. Thank you, Katira.